What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad89 here bringing you another review and for today's review we're going to be talking about the fourth installment in the Scream franchise, Scream 4. I'm excited about this because we are making our way to Scream 2022 and then once I'm done with these reviews we're going to rank all the films. So let's get into this and of course we're going to be talking spoilers today. So if you haven't seen this film you're going to have to go run out and watch it and then come back and check out this video so we can talk about it. So let's get into this. My review for Scream 4. So I must confess right off the top, in, in terms of the original four, you know, not counting this new one, the original four, Scream 4 is definitely the one that I've seen the least amount. Ironically, I've actually only seen this film four times, and I did like it a bit better on this fourth watch when I watched it before doing this review. I liked it a bit better. I had a really good time. Like At first, let's say we're getting into my positives. <laughs> I had a good time with the characters a lot more than I did in Scream 3, so that's a step up that it has on Scream 3. I like Hayden Panettiere's character. I like Rory Culkin's character. You know, Emma Roberts is such a great actress. So I think the cast is just a better cast than it was in Scream 3. So that elevates it above that. And also Scream 4, I noticed when watching this one that this is, I think, the most brutal in terms of kills and gore. I think this film is actually the most brutal, in my opinion, and out of all the Scream films. So that actually does, like I said, have another notch on it. Another good thing about this film is it does have a good way of keeping you guessing on who the killer is in this one. There's good misleading things. One of my favorite aspects of this film is actually Judy. I do like her character in this film, the deputy. I think she's really funny in this one, like to be honest. And I think they sell her well on being maybe the killer because she's like kind of obsessed with Dewey. She works with Dewey and he's the sheriff of Woodsboro and she's like right next to him and Gail's married to him. So there's that like kind of battle between them. But there's like just weird moments like especially when like Sydney comes out of the room and I think she's talking to Jill and then you see Judy standing in the dark. She's like, I was just making my rounds. Like, you know, like there's just weird things that they do with her that are little moments. It's not like, you know, Oh my God, but it kind of makes you think it could possibly be her at some time. So there's really good misleading moments in this film that kind of point fingers at different characters and you really could have fun with that. Also, we have Kevin Williamson coming back and you can really tell that he took command of this script and this is his script and the writing is definitely more on point in this film than that third film. So I was happier with that too. So all those aspects are things I liked better in this film than the previous film because Scream 3 is just one that I wasn't high on. And like I said, on this fourth watch of Scream 4, I did have a little bit better time with those aspects, but there are still some negatives I do have with this film. So let's get into talking about that. One of my negatives with this film is that it is comical, but a little too comical, and it doesn't land for me. It's a little too campy. And yes, there's comedy in the Scream films. Don't get me wrong. All the Scream films have comedy and like fourth wall dimension breaking and meta stuff. And this one does similar, very similar things. But I just don't find the comical moments land all that well for me. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know if it's the delivery or like certain moments in the writing, but some of the comical stuff undercuts scenes. For one scene is when there are two uh, cops that are watching outside of Jill's house when they're like in the cop car and they get killed and Ghostface gets them and he stabs one of them in the head and you see him come out and he makes like a joke as he falls to the floor. It kind of undercuts the moment of the scene and that's the kind of comedy I'm talking about. I don't really like that because if that didn't happen that moment, that would have been one of my favorite kills ever in Ghostface because I really like that. He gets the partner and then right away stabs the other partner in the head and you see him come out and he's like swinging at nothing, asking where he is like that. It could have been a really good kill scene, but then they undercut it with that comical moment. So that is what I'm talking about. Also for our killer, spoilers right now, spoiler warning, our killers. Emma Roberts, I love her as an actress, but her motivation and her acting in that third act, I'm just, it doesn't, still doesn't land for me that well. It's just a motivation that I don't like that much and I don't really like, I like Rory Culkin's character in the film, but when we find out he's the partner and that he only did it because he's like, oh, I'm the Randy and I get the girl because I'm the geek and now I get to be with the Sydney. Like, it's just, it was, 
I just didn't like the motivation in that third act and the way it played out. And up until that moment, I'm really having a good time with this film. But then that third act and then when we get to the hospital, it does kind of fall apart a little bit for me. And this is actually the movie for me, like, which is kind of funny. I like this a little better than Scream 3. And Dewey is usually my favorite of the OG characters. But in this film, Scream 4, I actually don't really like Dewey that much. And I think he kind of takes a back seat to a lot of the other characters. He's not really in it as much. I think this is the one he's in at the least amount, in my opinion. So... That those are some things, like I said, minor gripes and things and problems I have with this film, like I said, that make it not sit right with me. There are other moments that I really do love about this film. Like I said, the gore is on point, you know, the writing, having Kevin Williamson back. But there are still, like I said, moments that don't sit well with me in terms of just the way it plays out, especially when we get into that third act. I really do actually like Kirby's character, Hayden Panettiere. I love her character. And then to do her like they do in this film. I think that's kind of like one of the worst kind of deaths you have for a character that is very liked. It's like having a Randy type epic character and then ending him in the first movie. So it's like you said, this one does do a lot of controversial things and breaks a lot of rules. And like I said, yes, this is the fourth film and you can do that, but I'm not sure all of it lands with me. And that's the problem with this one is, like I said, I can find some enjoyment in it. Don't get me wrong. Like, this isn't a horrible slasher. This isn't a bad movie. I can find enjoyment in this movie. It's just not all of it lands for me. So in my book, Scream 4 for me is going to sit at a 6.5 out of 10. It really does couple that line with almost being like a 7 or an 8. Like, this could be a really great film. But there's just certain things when it comes to that motivation for the characters at the end. Our other side, you know, killer character and stuff like that. And like I said, the comical moments, I don't think they really land for me. And it's just, like I said, it's that tipping point. This is that one where it's like, after watching it this time right before this review, I was like, damn, like it really is kind of on that cusp of like, I really do like this film, but there are still things that bother me about this movie. But like I said, share in the comments what you all thought of the film. I would love to hear from all of you. What are your thoughts on Scream 4 so we could have some healthy cinema debates? And remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing and stick to the channel because I'm going to be popping out Ryan Review pretty soon for Scream 2022. I actually just caught that in theaters, so I jotted down all my ideas and like recorded that, so that one's going to be uploading pretty soon as well. But we had to get to Scream 4 first, and then after they're all done, we're going to rank them. So make sure you stick to the channel. And have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.